So we have this grass open. We are going now. I will be cutting some grass. Thawlai. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and you are watching N and Sam in Thailand. So as you will see, this is like our small durian farm over here in Isan. So in today's video, I'm going to show a day in my life from Isan, Thailand. So today I kind of cleaned my durian farm over here. I cleaned the grass over in my durian farm. So I will be showing that in this video. So yeah, without any delay, let's get started with today's video. So we have this grass open. <laughs> and we finished cut some branches with the fruits over here Mantis. And while cu cutting the branches, a uh, water break over here. So it's going to get empty. So it's uh, mainly rainwater. So like uh, rainwater get stored over in this. So they kind of broke today. So water is leaking now. We are going now. I will be cutting some grass and and will be taking out some fruits. So we have got a Honda machine over here. And this is like a four stroke engine and it's kind of powerful as well so yesterday i cut some grass with it and it it it, it was kind of easy to use as well so as you can see it it looks something like this so this is all from yesterday right now we are going to cut the grass and i'm wearing full t-shirt and pants because when i cut grass they kind of come on the body so i have to wear protective gear as well so yesterday we cut the grass over here So we do have some mangoes growing over here right now and we also have some coconuts and some other fruits as well. So we just bought this thing as well so it is like to cut kind of fruits form like trees so as you will see it's very simple and uh, we just have to like kind of raise it up uh, to the fruits as you can see we have fruits over there but it's not easy to reach them so we just have to use it and we can kind of get those fruits as well so this cost it like around 1000 baht with everything it's kind of satisfying as well so a bee just bit my lip so i have to put eyes can see or not lip <laughs> so yeah i have to put eyes now for a few minutes It was not very easy for me to use the stick because the fruits were very high and the stick was also shaking a little bit because of the height. So this was the grass that I cut yesterday and like we have some banana trees as well as you can see around the durian trees. So we don't have a big area to kind of grow durian but we are still trying to grow at least 15 plants.
now the best thing that i like living in a village is that uh, there are too many things to do in a village to kind of keep yourself busy compared to the cities like uh, in the village sometimes i can look after chickens sometime i can just cut the grass around the house as well it's not very hard if somebody wants to kind of do different different type of things because the thing is that the land is cheap as well in villages so if somebody wants to kind of uh, buy land they can kind of buy on their wife's name if they are, if they already have a wife so in this way if they want to kind of have some plantation banana plantation or like durian plantation or some other like small vegetable plantation as well it's kind of easy to do that in a way it's kind of easy to live a farmer's life in a village and the good thing is that the things are still not expensive a lot so if you have to kind of buy tools they are not expensive because uh, tools can be bought from ch chain like china so like online website kind of offers uh, tools for a very discounted price from china so overall the things are not expensive if somebody wants to kind of try to do farming it's not hard in Isan. So these are the two dogs that we have over here. So it's kind of easy to have dogs in the villages. So um, we can kind of go out with the dogs. So I think it's a very simple and easy life uh, in a village. If you can kind of keep yourself busy and can kind of do something to keep yourself entertained. So if somebody have to take out grass manually they have to take like that so it's good to have a machine over here in villages because sometimes if you have to take out a lot of grass it's easier but without a machine you have to just plow it so as you can see a gentleman is doing over there so with machine it's kind of easier you can get like a fine cut but if you have to plow it it's kind of hard but it can be done and this is over here a little farmer taking fruits and taking some coke ni tholai baat ni fruit tholai baat tholai ni tholai 1 kilo 40 baht you go for sell you you are not going to sell it Yeah. Yeah. So this footage is from the time when we didn't have cutter. So when uncle came to get the fruits, he had to kind of climb up to get the fruits. So these are the fruits. And this over here grandmother is growing beans so they are like black beans but as you can see it's not raining a lot these days even this is like rainy season so that's why it's a little bit hard to kind of grow something right now so we had put this cassava a few days ago so now they started to have leaves so they will grow good and they will be like soft so this footage is from the day when we planted the cassavas but i didn't upload it uh, but yeah, this is how we planted those cassavas, those soft cassavas.
Hmm. When we put, you see this. Hmm. This like this. Okay. Uh, have to put up. Okay. Hmm. Like so this. this side have to see and put up. Uh huh. So that's how you plant a cassava. Mm. I will do. Awesome. So now we are in a different area. We are making the soil smooth. And then we are putting the cassavas. So now we have finished putting the cassava. As you will see, we have put like near banana trees. So the thing about this cassava is that uh, this is like a soft cassava that people can boil and eat like a potato but the cassava that people normally grow that cassava cannot be like uh, boiled and eaten so uh, people cannot eat that cassava but this cassava that we are growing now uh, we can boil it and eat it that is why we are growing very less So we are not just growing durian over here we have banana plantation over here as well to utilize the space so because the thing is that durian plant kind of grows very slow so they can take a lot of years like seven eight years to kind of get bigger so yeah till that time we will be having like banana plantation over here and when the durian starts to be big we are just going to kind of uh, remove the bananas from here so if i show you the pond so as you can see there is no water inside because this year it's not raining i think it's not raining a little bit as well so it's it's kind of hard right now for plantations but yeah we still have a lot of grass to clean over here so that's why we kind of bought the machine for like 7000 baht which is not expensive considering uh, we can cut a lot of grass and in the long, long term it can save a lot of money because people can charge uh, around 1000 baht to cut the grass all over the place so if we cut ourselves it's kind of easy looking at the durian they are kind of growing fine so i looked at some other people who are growing durian in our village their durian is also the same size like us because like people in our village started to grow durian at the same time and these are uncle beans uh, long beans uncle used to sell them but he he does not have a lot of time these days because his bamboo business is doing do, uh, doing good right now so he's very busy with the bamboo business and he can sell at least like 100 us dollars worth of bamboo in a single day right now so he does not have time for beans right now so they they have dried up as well but he hasn't taken taken them out because as I said, he is kind of busy right now with his bamboo business. So if you are wondering about the bamboo, so as you can see, like this is like new sprout. So these sprouts kind of sell. People like to eat them. So these are like new sprouts. And when they grow up, uh, people can eat them if they want. Or they can just make bamboo pickle. So it's up to people. Now if you will see this sprout, it's bigger right now. So people cannot eat it because it's going to get hard as they grow taller but uh, I think this also should be hard now considering the size so yeah sometimes it's kind of tricky you have to cut them at the right time to kind of get right right kind of bamboo so yeah in the upcoming days I will be cutting grass all over the place I'm doing it slowly like one hour every day to keep myself busy as well so yeah so i will be kind of busy in cutting grass over here in isan for a few days also we are not using any fertilizer or something on our durian so they are kind of growing naturally so i believe i have done a good job but do tell me in the comments what do you think about my grass cutting skills over here so yeah i hope you got to see something different in this video you got to see a different life in isan thailand so if you got to see something different do give this video a like and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos i will see you in the next video till then peace bike sound <laughs>